in today's episode Outdoor KNX light sensor from ABB. So stay tuned. This is the KNX HS S421 outside light sensor interface from ABB. The device has a data terminal for connecting up to three outside light sensors. One light sensor is supplied with the device. It has four buttons for local operation and a screen display. A KNX bus terminal, a programming button, and the 230 volts live and neutral terminals. It is a three module DIN rail device. This is the light sensor that is applied with the device. To separate the sensor from the mounting bracket, just open the metal cover. To remove the plastic cover, use a screwdriver and push gently to unlock the cover. This is the data terminal with positive and negative, and must be connected to the data terminal of the KNX interface. Let's install first the light sensor. Screw the mounting bracket. Remove the plastic cover from the light sensor using a screwdriver. Insert into the light sensor a cable. Strip the wires using a cable stripper. Trim the edges a little bit. Insert the wires into the terminal ports by pushing down on the port spring. Secure the cable. Close the plastic cover. Mount the light sensor into the mounting bracket. Finally, secure the light sensor using the metal cover. Before I continue, please note that all the device must be mounted by an authorized electrician. Keep in mind all the time that electricity can turn you off. The electrical panels shown in our tutorials are made only for demo purposes and cannot stand alone to an installation without further protections. Please have in mind that in order to work on a KNX project you need to be certified. You can find certified KNX training centers in KNX official webpage. Let's now install the KNX light interface in this cabinet. Insert the live and neutral wires into the 230 volts terminal ports by pushing down on the port spring. Connect the KNX bus connector. Insert the wires from the light sensor into the data terminal ports by pushing down on the port spring. Be very careful with the polarity of the wires. I used red wire for positive and green wire for negative. Finally, turn the circuit breaker on. 
Now we have to allocate the light sensor. Press Menu button. Select Settings and press OK button. Go to Sensors. Press OK. Select Sensor 1. Press Next Serial Number. The detected sensor is displayed with its serial number. Press Allocate. Confirm by pressing OK. Light sensor has been added successfully. Let's open ETS. Open Catalogs. Go to ABB and search for HS Slash. This is the light sensor, so I will add it in my project. Double click on the sensor and go to Parameters. From General tab, I will activate switching channel C1 for turning on the lights at sunset and the switching channel C2 for turning off the lights at the first light of the day. I will select English language and after download the display backlighting will only switch on when the device is being used. The device will be always operatable without a pin code. The brightness value will be sent in the bus if the value has changed by 30% since it was last sent but only if this change corresponds to a brightness change more than one looks. I believe that there is no need to send brightness value cyclically. I have only one sensor so I will leave the name sensor 1. For now, there is no need to make brightness adjustment. Here I will enter the name that it will appear on the device display for channel 1. Channel 1 will turn on my stone lights, so I will name it Channel 1 Stone Lights On. Brightness threshold value is the condition that will trigger channel 1. I would like my lights to be turned on at sunset. So first, I will have to find what is the brightness value at sunset. Let's Google it. According to Wikipedia, sunrise or sunset is at 400 looks. So, Channel 1 will be triggered when brightness value will be below 500 lux. I have only one sensor, so source is sensor 1. Light hysteresis prevents frequent switching after small changes in brightness. Let me give you an example. Let's suppose that channel 1 will be triggered when brightness value will be below 10,000 lux. and the light hysteresis is 50%. For this example, I will not set any delay. So, if the condition is met and the brightness value is below 10,000 lux, light will be turned on. And when the condition is not met, so brightness value is above 10,000 lux, light will be turned off. This is a graph with brightness values from the light sensor. Below 10,000 lux is here. So, at this point, the light will be turned on. But for this small period of time, the brightness value is above 10,000 lux. So, the condition is not met and the light will be turned off. Then, the brightness is again below 10,000 lux, so light will be turned on. Then, above 10,000 lux and the light will be turned off again. And then, turned on again. Now, let's see the difference with light hysteresis. At this point, below 10,000 lux, the light will be turned on. 50% light hysteresis means 50% of 10,000 lux, so 5,000 lux. So, below 10,000 lux, the light will be on. And for 10,000 lux to 15,000 lux, the light will be remain on. So, light hysteresis prevents frequent switching back and forth several times. 
Back to our project. I will select light hysteresis 20%. I will leave the default delays when brightness increases and decreases. So, in our case, when brightness value is below 500 lux, at this point, the light will be turned on after 10 minutes. Value can be overwritten via object. It is possible to change the configured brightness threshold value at any time via a bus telegram. For simplicity, I will leave it to no. Overwrite value at download. With an ETS download, the brightness threshold currently stored in the device with its delay values is deleted and overwritten with the value set in the ETS. The telegram type of channel 1 is switching command. If the condition is met, the telegram will be sent once. The telegram will be on in order to turn on the lights. The text on display screen, I will change it to sunset. If the condition is not met, I don't want to send any telegram. Likewise, let's set now channel 2 in order to turn the lights off. I will name it channel 2 stone lights off. I will select brightness threshold value above 5 lux so the first day light will turn the lights off. When the condition is met, an off telegram will be sent to turn the lights off. If the condition is not met, no telegram will be sent. Let's take a closer look in the group objects. Brightness value sensor 1 sends the current brightness value from sensor 1. Brightness sensor status. Sends 0 when all sensors are OK or 1 if at least one sensor is defective. C1.1 switching channel is the first output object where in my case will turn on the lights when brightness value is below 500 lux. C2.1 switching channel is the second output object where in my case will turn off the lights when brightness value is above 5 lux. Now I will create the group addresses. Under outdoor main group I will create a middle group with name sensors. I will create two group addresses. The daylight group address for the brightness value of sensor 1. And the light sensor status in order to know if a sensor is defective. Now let's link group objects with group addresses. I will link brightness value sensor 1 group object with a daylight group address. By the way, the data type of brightness value sensor 1 should be 2 byte float value 9.004 looks. I will link also brightness sensor status group object with the light sensor status group address. I will link channel 1 switching channel group object with the group address of the lights that I want to be turned on. In my case, my outdoor stone lights. And likewise, the channel 2 switching channel group object with outdoor stone lights group address in order to be turned off. I will add also the brightness value in my BAUS 777 visualization. 
more details about the new visualization of BAO 777 you will find in the next episode. So, I will link the data point with the daylight group address. Finally, I will make a parcel download to BAO777. and the full download to brightness sensor. There are two ways to put the device in programming mode. By pressing the programming button or from the device menu, go to settings, system, press OK to enter programming mode and the down arrow button to set the device in programming mode. OK, we are ready. Allow me to open the visualization to check the current brightness value. This is the brightness value from sensor 1. And now the fun part. Let's test it. Here you can see the brightness value from sensor 1, the status of stone lights, and the camera view to check how daylight is decreasing. As you can see at this point, the daylight is below 500 lux. So after 10 minutes, my stone light should be turned on. Everything works great. So, this was Outdoor KNX Light Sensor from ABB. Thank you so much for watching. If you like my tutorials, consider subscribing to my channel. See you in the next episode.